Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, on my last video, I showed a demo on what is what paints are translucent, what, what paints are opaque. Today I want to explain the color wheel, the dreaded color wheel. I've been painting since I was 13 years old trying to learn the color wheel. I finally gave up and it's, it's really not that hard as it looks. I don't even own a color wheel because I hate those things. So I'm going to show you how to understand it a little better. It's really not as complicated as, as it looks. So what, for this demonstration, I'm going to use my golden artist colors. Um, and remember the, the last video I told you that artist colors, you like in golden, it, it, it tells you which ones are opaque and which ones are translucent by showing this little thing. So the, the three primary colors I chose for this demonstration is naphthol red, ultramarine blue, and primary yellow. Okay. And I'm also going to use black and white to kind of show you other things. So first, the most important part of this is knowing your three primary colors. And primary is a technical word for the color wheel, which I'm not going to throw too many of those around because I really don't know them all that well. <laughs> I don't know if... This is for people who have a problem with labels. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like my brain just don't work that way. So anyway, we're going to start off with... I like to put my yellow in the middle. This is a yellow, primary yellow. And aptal red. And ultramarine blue, I think it's, yeah, one of those. Anyway, it's a pretty blue. Now this works with any color, any kind of paints. Some better than others. Um, artist grade paints tend to work a little better for it. So your three primary colors, you should be able to make all colors out of that. In theory, red, yellow, and blue mixed together makes black. But it really doesn't. It we got some blue. We got some red, and we got some yellow. And what does it make? It makes brown. And more of a reddish brown or a bluish brown, depending on what, how much blue or how much yellow, and so far. See, that looks like a burnt sienna to me yeah it's kind of like a burnt sienna it's a reddish brown so there you go brown you can make brown with those three colors all together to make black forget about it uh, just get you some black paint <laughs> white is the absence of all colors that's in the, the theoretical form but in reality, you can't paint with the absence of color. So you use white and just get you some white paint. And that's that. Now, between these two colors is your secondary colors. So your first colors is yellow, blue, red. Your secondary colors are yellow and red mixed together. I'm gonna put some yellow and a little bit of red. I'll put a little bit more yellow. And you got orange. Orange is a secondary color. There you go. Orange. Now, in between these two, you get yellow orange or red orange. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the same orange 
and just add more yellow and you have a yellow orange. More yellow. Red is very overpowering. You only need a little bit. There you go. Yellow, orange, orange, and here we're going to have a red orange. It's, it's a lot more red than yellow. That almost looks like the red. So I'm going to clean my brush and just keep adding yellow until I get a more of a orange, a reddish orange. Now Naphthol Red is somewhat of a reddish orange, but that is the best red that I had to do this demonstration. Um, Alizarin Crimson might be a good one to use. There we go. Reddish orange. And this is red. I don't know if you could tell the difference between those. So there you got yellow, yellow orange, orange, orange red, and red. Now, the bottom part you got your blue and your red. Your blue and your red together creates purple. So, I'm gonna put some red down and some blue. Now, making purple is not easy. It's a difficult, difficult color to make. This is more of a reddish purple, so we're going to go with more blue in there. See, it looks almost brown. Awful. <laughs> That's why I say theoretically, it doesn't always work physically. But that's purple hmm then there's reddish purple so we're gonna do this and just add more red <clears throat> and you got a reddish purple which actually looks very close to this in the brown and then you have your a bluish purple so a lot more blue this time and a little bit of red. That is the theory of making purple. Now there's another one. You can't really make purple. Not in my experience. So my best advice to you is get some dioxide purple. Now this one's made by Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Paint. But any, you can find this in the student grade paints. And I believe you might find it in some of the craft paints. But this one, dioxinot, dioxa, dioxa, <laughs> dioxine, or dioxine, dioxine purple. <laughs> yeah, dioxine, dioxine. Well, you get the draft. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me write it here for you. This purple, D I O Dio Zazine Ozine. That. Look for this name in the purple. And this is a really beautiful purple. You cannot go wrong with it. It is initially very dark. Okay. But if you spread it out, look how pretty that is. That is a purple. And you can lighten it to a lavender. Just need very little of it. You can lighten it to a lavender. 
you can add a little bit more blue and make it more of a bluish purple. Or, let's see, this is purple. Or add a little bit of more red and make it a reddish purple without it turning an ugly brown color. And I'm gonna add some white to this so you can see the difference between a warmer purple to a cooler purple, which is this one. And this one's got more blue. And dioxide. I call it dioxide, but it's not dioxide, it's dioxide. That diox dioxazine. That Di I'm gonna have to look that up. Dioxazine. <laughs> okay, so that's that's my take on purple. Forget the the mixing the the red and the blue to make purple. You're gonna you're gonna make that nastiness. It's just look, look at that. That's just that's hideous, right? Okay, so don't worry about the purple. Now, blue and yellow definitely definitely make green. There's no problem there. That works. So I'm gonna take some yellow. I need to add a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. Some of this uh, primary yellow. And a little bit of blue. Now I'm gonna start with yellow. Yellow is such a light color blue will overpower it so if you want to make green start with yellow and add a little bit of green at a time i mean a little bit of blue at a time okay got green and that actually works and then you want yellow green just add more yellow to the green you already have right there that would be a yellow green and then a blue green We'll start with some yellow and just add more blue. And the blue green is more of a turquoise color. So don't let the color wheel intimidate you. Um, it's as simple as that. If you can understand the color wheel that has the chart, then you move the little thing and it makes different colors, go ahead and get you one. But it's like, uh, you don't, the best way to learn it is to actually get your brush, get your paints, and start mixing together. And you will learn it. And remember, you can't make purple. So get you some uh, dioxazine. Dioxazine. Oh, that's that's a good. That's probably it. Dioxazine. Yeah. Dioxazine, violet dioxazine, and violetta dioxazine. That's Italian. <laughs> I don't speak Italian. I just like to mess around. So dioxazine purple will give you the best purple. You can make brown out of your red, yellow, and blue. Um, and then from there you could just you add your whites and your blacks and you're good to go all right 
hope that uh, helped clear us up a little bit. And take care of yourself. Love you guys. Bye-bye.